told the sports book guy I was a no good son of a He threw me out of there. They berated me, called me an old man and everything else. But I went back there. The minute I got back, it just threw me out again. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for nine years. We get the inmates when they first walk into the door. They're either drunk, high, highly agitated. They have just been arrested, so they take out their anger on us. So our job as sergeants down here to try to calm them down. So I enjoy it. Every day is different. He's laughing about it. I walked down and he's laughing about Whoa. that. I'm bleeding all over my face. Are you kidding me? You have a little cut above your eye. I have a little cut. Does this look like a little cut to you? What were her charges? Uh, she was brought in on a battery and a uh, trespassing charge. All right, thank you. You got to put me in jail for that? You're hella bad, real bad. Tight. Yeah. Hey. 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 Have a seat. Oh, push me up against the wall, horse. Cross your ankles. Cross my How the f am I supposed to cross my ankles? Okay. I need to start listening Minor. to what? I'm going to give her the other direction. Bitch, if you pull my hair one more time, your name will be the first on my boss. You must. Don't move. Stay there. Thank you. Everybody else? Yeah. Oh, your little hole's around. I don't live like this. I need okay. to choose. Hey, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. We had this one individual in the red shirt, had her calm. She's been in here for several hours. And because she came in here and was so wordy, she's got her worked up. So we're going to end up having to place probably this one in the chair for a cool down period so we can get these others to calm down. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Seriously. You need to calm down. Uh, she came back from the pat down area. I heard yelling. Uh, she started cursing out the officers, cursing out medical. Hopefully. I don't know if she's going to make it. Hopefully, she calms down. Yeah. Let's go. Can I get some shit? You're going to go right down to the ground. I'm cold. I keep saying that. Step up. Go ahead. Step out of your pants. Step out of your pants. I'm cold, man. We're going to get you a pair of blue pants. Oh, you're going to break my no, wrist? No, I'm not going to break your you wrist. You're squeezing my wrist. Stand up. You're squeezing my wrist. Step you're squeezing my wrist. Step out of your pants. Step step up, up. You're squeezing my wrist. Do not try to pull away from I'm me, sir. I'm not pulling nowhere. I haven't moved. I have not moved, and you flipped it again. You're jamming my ankles and my knees. Stand back. Have a seat. Sit down. Let me see that. My, my bladder, sir. All the way back. You can hold it. I'm not going to spin on that. I don't get down like that. But you can get off my pelvis, though. <clears throat> this is sad. Rick, three, one, two, three. What exactly happened? Uh, he was complaining about being too cold. He started shaking. Uh, I was trying to control his arm. He pulled his arm away. So he, he felt that I was, uh, was uh, hurting him or whatever the case was. So then we just placed him in the chair. All right, good job. All right, guys, listen up. We got two female inmates in Z6. We just put another inmate in there for a cool down period. Well, she got the other one worked up. Now they're bouncing around in there. Uh, make a threat towards the officers. Uh, for their own safety, we're going to put them in the restraint chair, let them cool down a little bit. Wow. Did that make you guys feel better now? When I get out of here, I'm going to find out all y'all bitches who live around me. I'm burning your houses down. Y'all better take me somewhere to go, because I'm not going to shut up. Oh, man, I was trying to go to sleep. Come on now. I was just yeah. you dumb bitch. Yeah, you okay. dumb bitch. That's why you in here. You dumb bitch. That's why your lip got popped by a cop. You dumb bitch. And you bitch. know what, bitch? Your lips gonna get popped by me if they flame me out. Nah, this bitch. not even. Are you gonna stop, stop now? Are you gonna stop? Am I gonna stop what? Are you gonna stop running your mouth? You know what? I'm not. Since they're venting at each other, we're just gonna let them go at it. Maybe it'll tire them out, and we'll come back and check on them. Maybe we can get them out of the chair. This is stage two of your cool down, okay? I'm gonna let you out of this chair, do everything else we tell you to do, all right? Right in. Switch feet. Switch feet. 
Okay, we have an understanding? Yes, we do. Not. Bang on the door. Okay, if you pass this, we might get you out and start your booking process, okay? Stay there, don't move. A little time in the chair. Seems he's calm. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna make it. I mean, uh, you see how we're not gonna take anything from him, so yeah. um, hopefully he'll he'll be able to uh, get through that process and get an open booking so he can start his booking process. Yeah. All right, you've calmed down. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna stick you back in here for another cool down period, okay? Okay. okay. Try it. Oh. Jump on oh, in there. Right the yeah. Stay there until the door closes. Okay. We're using toilet paper, okay? I got this. Oh, it seems to have calmed down, so we're going to give her another shot and see what happens with her. But the other one's just not calming down. She's really upset with this, so we'll go back and check on her again. So. She was very highly agitated. Verbally abusive made threats towards the officers. We're gonna have them take a look at her, try to talk to her, see if they could calm her down. We don't know if she has any psychological issues, but they'll be able to determine that later. Maybe she has some other issues we don't know about, but she complied with all the orders, so we'll see if she cools down. It's just a typical slow night, which we don't get very often. You never know when things are going to go off again, so you always have to be prepared at all times so that we can make sure that we run a safe facility for the inmates and for the, the officers around. Yeah. Play with the rules. I'm going to play with the rules. I'm going to play with the rules. I'm going to play with the rules. How about instead of playing with them, you just follow them? I'm going to follow your rules. So they hurt. Ow. I'm sure this gentleman is a burglary attempt suspect. Uh, appeared to be very intoxicated under the influence of some sort of narcotic. Uh, it was pretty mellow on the way over here, but apparently he became abruptly uh, rude here at the jail. Apparently it's said in that he's going to be going away for a little while. Do you have any allergies to medication? I'm allergic to milk. Sir. It's not medication, it's milk. Well, I uh, can I drink that milk to save my life. I will die before I drink milk. Cause it hurts my well, if you drink milk, you'll die, so. Well, like. I got it. Don't all right, I have no I problem with medication. I'm allergic to milk. Got it. All right, please don't give me any milk, and I'm fine. No, if, some, if somebody offers you milk, I'm going to swat it away from you. I don't want you to get any milk. They'll tell you. All right, thank you, sir. All right. I'm, help, I'm here to help you. All right. No milk. My no head. milk, people. No milk. All right, good to go. Okay. Okay. And then empty shit right down the front row. What's up? What's going on? My name is uh, Joe. John. 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 I'm John Doe. That's what I'm known as. Really? Yeah. We blood brothers. Hey, I'm Mayberry. <laughs> 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 See what he's doing? He's sleeping. Sit down. See what he's doing? He's being quiet. Right. Follow suit. Yes, sir. There's other options for me. There There's is. no other there options is. for you. Not for so me. So hopefully he'll sober up. If not, we'll have to remove him from this area so he can be by himself. Look, that fool right there with the green suit told that me fool? to sit here. That, 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 fool that right officer. There? That officer. That, that officer. Fool. That officer. Fool, huh? Well, oh, he told me to sit here. Fool, huh? Okay. That's just how I talk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Listen up there, Junior. How you act on the street ain't how you act in here. These ain't homies. These are officers. All right. You will talk to them and treat them accordingly. I'm with sorry, respect. Officers. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Chest on the wall. And that includes your hands. Keep them there. You know, we just had to finally get rid of him. He just doesn't know how to control himself or well, his mouth. Yeah, he brought the street into the jail with him. Yeah. And uh, he thinks that he can uh, speak to officers the same way he speaks to his buddies on the street. You ever been here before in our jail? Yes, sir. Hey, welcome back to the Clark County Detention Center. Glad to have you. Okay, left Left. What have you been here before for? 
selling marijuana. All right, come back where you were. We got a call of uh, somebody at a Bank of America. She was upset and trying to get in when they were closed. Uh, they went through the bag that was left in the Bank of America and located a large amount of marijuana. And she was still there when we got there, so we detained her, started asking her questions about it. And then we wound up finding seven credit cards that didn't belong to her in her possession. So we brought her here for that. So she basically ended up leaving her bag in the bank, was upset that she left her bag in the bank, was trying to get back to her bag, is that? She was trying to get her bag back. Probably because they had marijuana and other things in it. She didn't know about it. Of course. Hey, so wanted to hear about your side of the story. Well, um, me and my friend, um, we were driving in uh, his best friend's car, and we were going to cash a check at Bank of America, and there was a laptop case. So I was like, bring that in. I don't want it to get stolen. So I cash a check, and he sits it up on the counter, and we go to walk out. We go right across the street to the smoke shop, and then we realize that the laptop case was in the... Um, the bank. So we run back to the bank, and then um, at the bank, they wouldn't let us in. They just closed. And they say that you have to get through Metro. And all of a sudden, two cop cars roll up behind me. We and a bunch of credit cards in there. And so now I'm in here with six felonies for all of them, just because my name was on one of the cards. But the the felonies aren't mine because it wasn't in my possession. It was illegal search and seizure, and I got a good ass lawyer. So I'm gonna get out tonight. Sounds good. Well, good luck to you. Jesse, how are you doing now? Sobered up? So you're doing a little bit better? Yes, sir. Do you remember anything about what happened out there at all? I mean, you were being really well, loud and disruptive and... Out there? Yeah. No, I don't remember out there. I just remember I got kicked out of my friend's house because I was too drunk. Nobody wanted to drink with me, man. <laughs> so nobody wanted to drink with you at your friend's house either, huh? Well, I'm glad you're doing better. Glad you're more sober now, okay? All right, just have a seat right there in that corner for just a second. I got something else I'm going to help you out with. You know, Jesse now is uh, really calm. He's got his head about him. I'm glad we did take him out of that area and brought him back here so we could cool off. And now he's a much better person. And so hopefully we'll get him through that process. DC gets a lot of colorful characters coming in 24-7. People come here to party. So we are constantly on the go, constantly moving. We get a lot of adrenaline rushes going with our Code Fives. People coming in very combative. I love it down here. On my off days, I tend to try to keep it up, working out, staying fit, so that when I come here to work, I can be alert and ready to go at any time. All right, miss, come on up. Stand on the black mat, face the wall, spread your feet. What did they bring you in for today? Oh, DUI. Do you need those to see, or are those just like reading glass? No, I have to see. Okay, sure. Cannot see without them. You cannot see without them. Don't just throw them. my glasses on there. Don't move. I said, don't throw my glasses. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Turn around, face the wall. You're slamming me Turn for now. and face the wall. Okay. I'm trying to prove a point. No, I'm oh, trying to explain yeah, to you that you are in jail No, now. I said don't. OK. Throw my glasses. He's not throwing your glasses, man. He did throw my glasses. All right, well, it's over and done with, isn't it? OK, he never respected me for the minute I got here. Spread your feet open like you had them. Back off, I'll spread my feet. OK, spread your foot then. then spread back it. Back off, and spread I will my foot. OK, now I can tell my foot. Now tell me what you want to do. I probably shouldn't drink, ma'am. You're not a very nice drunk. Don't mm have. -hmm. Whoa. Don't tell me who I am. Ma'am, you guys are abusive. You're being ridiculous. No, you are. You're hurting my breast. Okay? Oh my God. Why are you hurting me? Stop hurting my right, breast. Chair. chair. Let me go. You're... Got her. Let me go right here. See, you're hurting me. Don't. Have a seat. I'm so bad. Let me. You're hurting my wrist. 
killing me. You guys are like so really bad. Seriously. That's a bad chair. I just happened to grab that one first. Watch your feet. Yeah. They're going to cut them off. Hey, go with the plum. You're intoxicated. I am. And so what? So what? I'm not that intoxicated. I was being nice when I got here. So do you speak Asked that the guy way in the all cop the time? Car. No. Yeah, I was sweet as pie. I was so nice. We have you on camera being as sweet as pie, ma'am. Uh, whatever. So we're going to leave you in this corner until uh, you become cooperative and you need to sober up a little bit. Shut up. Yep, yep. Sweet as pie again. Whatever. Where'd you get her from? Was she just a regular DUI pullover? dispatched to a call that was initiated by a detective who observed the vehicle weaving inside and out of the lanes mm -hmm. going westbound on 215. Was she as pleasant with you as she was with me? During the field sobriety test, she was very cooperative, polite. Then when I put her in the car, she wasn't so cooperative. OK, thank you, officer. Oh, my God. I do not. I do not. We don't have another chair, do we? Park in. Somebody got a gun. Somebody put something in my back. Oh my God! The code five's naked, and we're out of chairs. Thanks for the warning. We didn't have a restraint chair, so we had to take the female out so we can uh, use this restraint chair in case we need it. Okay, we got a code five male coming in. Uh, apparently, he's naked. Do we need? Uh, do we have anything to cover him up? Queen, so you decided to go for a swim in the in the Mirage uh, volcano? Yeah. You know where you're at? No. You're at the you're at the Clark County Detention Center. You're in jail. Big time, huh? huh? Big time. Yeah. So anyway, uh, before I take you out of this car, I can have some pants I put on you right now. Can... No, let me take me in naked. Let them see what they're gonna get. All right, you can't go in the chair. You don't want to go up there on the phone. All right, come on. Put your hands out in there. There you go. Good idea. Watch your feet. You want to start? <clears throat> Sir, so you weren't really clear as to whether or not you're suicidal, are you? I can't scratch my nose, I can't take the show out of my mouth. Yes. Yes, yes. Let me get a room for him. He came in naked, swimming in the front of the mirage. He's coming out with chair? Yes. You need to cooperate. Right now, you just got a misdemeanor charge. You can do it. Do what? You shoot me with a taser. I don't want to tease you. Why? You want to be tased? Yeah. Where huh? are you going to shoot me at? My bum muscle? I'm not going to shoot you. I don't shoot want to shoot you. I would rather just take you out of this chair, butt. give you a blanket, okay. and then leave well okay, enough I'll alone. I'll take the blanket. OK. Sounds good. There's your new blanket. Why don't you sit up for me? You feeling a little better? Do you feel like you're not as intoxicated as you were? Do you remember coming in? Okay. So everything's still pretty clear to you? Yeah. Okay. Did you feel like you had had too much to drink? Not really. So when you're not drinking, are you generally a nice person? Yeah. Usually people are. You were kind of mean out there. Well, they were beats me in the car. Were they? Yeah, so mean. 
hurting my hands, and handcuffing me, and throwing me in the car, treating me like dirt. I probably should have taken the cab, and I didn't. All right, well, good luck. Um, with whatever comes next, make sure you show up to your court dates. Do what you got to do, OK? They don't understand why they're being patted down again. People can come in after being patted down three times, and we still find stuff on them. It's all about safety. One thing I noticed is that we have an increase of homeless come in when the weather changes. So when it gets too hot or gets too cold, they the homeless try to get arrested so they can come in, get a shower, have a dry place to sleep, and get fed. And I've seen everything come in, I've seen everybody, but what's cool is that I'll still see something different, something new. Spread your feet. What are you in here for? There's domestic violence on a six foot seven mother. Whoa. Who's yeah. that? Who's that guy to you? My boyfriend. Oh. So what'd you do to him to get in here? I bit him. You bit, I bit him? him on his arm. Good That's all you. I did. Good for you. Spread your feet, ma'am. I called Metro to have him come and make him leave my house. And you can and they Arrested me. Is he still at your house? Yes, he is still at my house. That is messed up. Yes, it is messed up. Okay, let's take these cuffs off of you, okay? okay. So why don't you place your hands high up on the wall? Okay, works for me. Okay, works for me too. So uh, when this is all said and done and you're out of here, are you gonna go back to your man or is he done? No, he's getting the out of my house. I pay the bills. That's right. Has he got a girlfriend? He's got a wife. <laughs> okay, now whose fault is this? Yeah, now it's the plot mine. thickens even more. I, that's what screwed up that. When I go home, he's gonna get out of my house. I think that's a good game plan, ma'am. Okay, listen, go see medical. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? What do you mean medical? You gotta go see medical. Make sure you're not hurt. This roll all the way down the very end. <laughs> so what was the scenario when you went there? A uh, six foot seven guy with a bite mark on his arm, scratches on his chest, trying to stop her from driving drunk. Um, She'd been drinking. He poured her alcohol down the sink, so she got mad and attacked him. She called us because she wanted us to tell him to get out and give her the keys to her safe so she could get her money and go drink, and uh, he wouldn't let her out of the house. So. Totally different from what she told me. Yeah, so different when we got story. there, she was. that's why she's upset, because she called the police and she came to jail. What'd you get arrested for tonight? Nothing. Nothing? Not this. Yeah, it had to be something. What do you mean, not this? What are you grabbing for? I'm not doing nothing. Corey was brought in for DUI. We're trying to process him, but he's not being very cooperative right now, and he's smart-mouthing the officers. Stand up straight. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, Damn, man. Your belly out of the way. Can we try to just get with the program and act like grown-ups, or you want to continue with this whole... I, really think I know, you've already told me that. Like nothing like that. Yeah. Girls nothing in your pants. Awesome. Look straight ahead at that wall. Just embrace it, sir. <laughs> I don't have nothing. All right, step out of the jeans. I am. Can you stop crossing? Damn, man, don't don't you let you stop crossing, up. buddy. But damn, damn man, can you let me go for a minute? We can't let you go, sir. You're in jail. I know. That would be you're breaking my wrist. No, we're not. Simple restraint techniques. Well, he's not even touching your wrist, though. Oh. See, you keep moving around. I'm not moving. You're moving me. Settle down. Butter. Mm -hmm. What about this from the handcuffs? That's from your hand. Why are you cussing at me? Sorry, that's already. This is a family jail. Don't away. cuss. Like, dang, All right, put your little flip flops on. Shh. Put your flip flops on. I told you this is a family jail. You can't keep cussing like that. Turn around. This row right here. Go down to the end and have a seat. Pull your pants up. Hey, I'll do it. All righty. Okay, first of all, don't even bother sitting down. Let me pull them up. Get up. Come on. Okay. Come on. We're going to help Ow. you with that. Remember, you wanted us to help you? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Shh. No, too late. I'll do it. Too late. Ow. We don't give people I... plenty of chances. We give you I was one chance. Pull them up. No, My hands are restrained. So now he has to be assisted by these officers. Most likely he'll end up in a side cell because he can't handle himself out here. You can act like an adult. You can stay out here. Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's take it down. Come on. And they are going to take him to a side cell. I think we got one more. I think we do. There's always room for jello. 
Step out of your shoes. It's just another typical night. Ow! Put your stomach up on a wall. Cross your ankles. Now, when we release your hands, you're going to place them on the back of your head. Yes, sir. You're not going to move until the door shuts. Door? You're not going to move until the door shuts. Yes, sir. All right? We'll let him sober up for a few hours before we let him finish the booking process. Sorry, you had to come down here, but that's the law. you got to stop beating up on that little guy. I don't guy. care. Little guy? Yeah. Little? Well, you're, you're here Six because of the seven injuries. seven ain't little. I know, but you're here because of the injuries on him, not because the injuries on you. Can I sit down? Go back and sit where you were, okay? Whoa, whoa watch out. Thank you, ma'am. You have a good night. I just wanted my keys. He's six foot seven. I'm four foot ten. Wow, that's a big so height difference. So I told difference. him, you know what? I'm calling Metro. <laughs> arrested me. Yes, I bit him. Yes, I hit him. Yes, I bruised him. But you know what? He hurt me too. You bit him though, you said? I sure did. And because you know what? When he's going to hold you? me to the floor and think he owns me, he's got another thing coming. He don't own nothing. He can go out and get a job and own what he wants. Because you know what? Colleen's done. Colleen's tired of taking care of men. God put you through trials and tribulations in your life to make sure you can handle it. Come on in, let's get your picture taken. Some people can't handle their alcohol. They drink too much, they misbehave, and of course, law enforcement officers are always the bad guys. No matter how busy it is or how tense things get in here, we realize that we depend on each other and we're not by ourselves, you know. We have um, our partners that are gonna help us get through the night and we rely on each other and we're gonna end up going home and this is our place of comfort right here now. This is not fair. It's not fair. How long can you hold me? It depends what you're in here for. You'll find out in the next room, your charges. He took, called me in here for a phone call. I made to try and get my CDs back because they destroyed my CDs over at the Bellagio. So you were at the Bellagio? You're staying at the Bellagio? I, look, I was taught this. There's a guy that doesn't like me that goes there. He told the sports book guy that I was a no good son of a... They threw me out of there. They berated me, called me an old man and everything else. When I went back there, the minute I got back, it threw me out again. So now I'm mad. Were you drinking? What? Were you drinking? What? Were you drinking? Hell no. Want to give me a sobriety test? Not really. Let me blow but... that thing up. Okay. So you got kicked out because what? You were just being, you got uh, in an argument with them? They accused me of telling a, a cocktail waitress that I wanted to, yeah. they made up stories to get me out of there. I'll find out exactly what your charges are in a bit, okay? Thank you, darling. So meanwhile, you got to see the nurse, though. So go down this, this go down this row. Listen, lowest. go down this row and go talk to the nurse and let her know any medical problems you have. Well, I am bipolar. Go all the way down and tell the nurse that. I have a group called the Bipolar Bears. We play mood swing music. Got it. That guy who arrested me is the scummiest son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. He's a no good, he has no respect for a man my age. Patient came in, you said he was the most awesome officer you've ever I met. I did not say that. You did say don't that. put words in my mouth, Baldy. What'd you say? Hey, Baldy, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> What'd you say? I said he was a piece of crap. Let's go this way. How can you not respect an 80 year old man? I don't earn respect, sir. Hey, don't stop with me, Baldy. I don't like you when your body, you're about to throw yourself away from the dinner table once in a while. Wait. What, are you guys going to interrogate me because I don't like you? I'm, not, I'm a nice guy, actually. Three? No, I don't think so. Four. Well, you don't think so, but a lot of people you just, do. You don't know when to shut up. 80 years old, you should, you should, you yeah, should have right. learned discretion yeah, a long time. You guys like to... Slip out of your sandals, sir. That's how you slip, your, slip out of your sandals. I have to stay here just a little while. So we say so. There you go. Bald feet, I'm going to put. Yeah, yeah. Hey, easy a little bit, Pally. Come on, I'm 80 years old. 82. No, so come spread on, your feet. You're feet. excuse to be stupid. Stup spread spread your feet. Hey, easy, man. You're real lovely to talk to an 80-year-old like that. See, in a situation like this, like this, this, is where this, this, is, this is where discretion comes in. You're in here with two guys. If you don't learn to shut your mouth, the time for being a comedian is over with. Yeah, there you go. Well, we'll see how he gets along with his uh, his buckies. 
So what happened with this guy? Uh, he's threatening somebody at the Bellagio Hotel Casino. And you said he's been trespassed there several times? He's been trespassed. He's, he's just totally trespassed disruptive once. every time he goes in there? Was trespassed and uh, was too happy for the past month, so he's been harassing him. And he's quite, he plays, tries to be quite the comedian. Unfortunately, he just hasn't learned the discretion. He doesn't know when to shut up. Officer Castro, yeah. what happened with Danny while you were doing your checks? I came by and uh, he was yelling in there. You wouldn't let him sleep? I had to move him out. He's laying down. We're going to see if he's awake. See what's up. Danny. How you doing, Danny? Not too good, lady. Not too good? That Bellagio's going to get their ass suit off. Who did what to you at the Bellagio? What happened was there's a guy that goes in there. You want to sit? Can you sit I up? From 15 you need help? years ago, and he doesn't like me. He says, I'm going to get you thrown out of here. OK. So this guy's not a nice guy either. When the guy hit me, he didn't give a So what happened at the Bellagio, Dan? So they, they threw me out and embarrassed me on the way out. Were you being verbal with them? Is that why? No, no. They, they were being verbal with me. Do you realize why we had to bring you out from the pre-arrest area and then put you in a cell? And then you had problems in there with the guys in there? No, and now that's, that's why you're alone in here? I didn't have no problems with anybody. Don't put words in my mouth, lady. So what happened in there then? The guy said to shut my mouth, and I said, wait a minute, you can't talk to me that way. And he robbed me. Obviously, your mouth has gotten in you a lot of trouble. Well, that's why we had to bring you out of the open area. Well, where minute, Listen, lady, listen to me. me. That listen. guy started with me right away. Exactly. I'd because like to go in there and kick his you, ass. you don't Let know how to be quiet, Danny. That exactly. That's why, you know. why we had to bring you in that cell with yeah, the other guys that me. couldn't he behave. Hit me and knocked me down. And lady, then you couldn't no, even I make it in there. You're making excuses for. For, for if you continue this too. way, Danny, you, your process slows down. That's what I'm letting you know. Your mouth is getting you in a lot of trouble. My mouth That's is why my you are right darling. here now. I make a lot of money with my mouth, and I don't want to take any crap from you either. It, okay, Danny, so when with all the money that you have, then after your process keeps continuing, then you'll be able to bail out, okay? No, I don't have the money to bail out right now. I thought you made a lot of money, Danny. Well, it's... I, I'll tell you what, Danny, you're going to stay here for a while, because your no, mouth got you in trouble no. out on the street. Your mouth no, got you in trouble in our open booking area. Your mouth got you in trouble with these other inmates. Stay in there, Danny. Uh, yeah, that's it, lady. Keep me in jail. An 80-year-old man. Aren't you a lovely human being? All right. He's going to do that all night. Yeah, well, hopefully he'll get tired and just sleep it off. Night shift and booking uh, can be very challenging. We average over 120 arrests uh, per shift. When these individuals come in, a lot of times they come in intoxicated, uh, high, suicidal, uh, combative, and it creates a lot of challenges for us as officers and supervisors to house these individuals in a safe and secure environment. Code 5 inmate coming in, which means the individual suspect's probably been uh, combative with the arresting officer. He needs our assistance in uh, getting him out of the car and walking him into the facility. I'll sit there and try and talk to him, get him to cooperate. And if they don't, we'll use the restraint chair here and uh, put him in that and give him a little bit of cooling off here. Are you coming in, sir? We are, sir. Sit down. Make a pause. Make this process easier. I'm going to talk to you. Oh, God, dude. What <laughs> did I do to start getting put in the chair, dog? Well, you're still yelling uh, and you don't want to cooperate. That's what, what? you did. So yeah. now you need to follow directions, just relax. Just take this spit mask off me, dude, and I'll cooperate, man. It's all I ask, man. Well, Why didn't you one. take this mask off because me, dude? Because you're screaming and you're yelling, and I don't trust you. What's your name? We gotta get your blood pressure. Dude, you ain't putting that on my arm. What's your name? My name's John Doe. Do you want to hurt yourself? Let go my face. It's not my job to do that. Uh, we'll park him in the corner here. We got two that should be cleared up sometime, and then I got uh, three more that are fine. Hey, sis, bro. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not, no. dude. Go down. George, one great fortune. Could you start cooperating, we'll get you out of this chair. You just needed a little time out. Well, when I was I not cooperating? From the get-go, when, when you take your head and you tried to hit my officer with it, and when you tried to headbutt us, tried to kick us with your leg. 
when you're using when? obscenities, that's when you weren't cooperating. So you need to sober up and relax. When I said, please get this spit mask off me. We have another code five inmate coming in. The inmates have been combated with arresting officers. We stopped him for trespassing uh, in an apartment complex, and he had some felony warrants. Just didn't want to cooperate, so. Yeah, he looks, he's been a frequent customer, I think. He's, so. been, he's been drinking heavily, so. Yeah. Okay. They tend, tend to get a little crazy. Yes, they do. Now, did you take this bear from the hospital? Is that his teddy bear? Well, put that with your property, sir. Yeah, take that with you to bed, sir. Nice That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and keep the chair out just in case, because, again, emotional roller coaster. Yeah, I got you. Cat here. Touch your mouth. Hey, hey, hey. Let's put him in a chair. Put him in a chair. Put him in a chair. Yeah, he's too stupid. He started. I don't know. Now he's doing it. All right, relax. I know it's over. It's over. It's over. Uh, he's probably still a little intoxicated, so we'll put him in the restraint chair for a cooling off period for his protection and other inmates. Kevin, we got uh, several inmates in the restraint chair. Two seats full. They're suicidal inmates, so we can't put them inside cells. So we're going to have to use some uh, alternative uh, solutions. What about having psych talk to them? We can do that. I'll have uh, psych follow up with them. Did 18 years in ISO. And I'm so angry, man. Cause, dude, I've never seen you anger. I don't know. I don't. And I just want to get this damn bee mask off my face, man. That's all you're pissed off about. You're upset about the mask being on you. Yeah. He spit on me. He spit on you. Yeah, I spit on you with a spit mask on my face, right? Oh, you guys aren't getting along either. I don't like that. Sounds cool, man. Sounds good. This is comical. Can I ask you some questions? Why are you spitting on me? I didn't spit on anybody. I'm a concussion, but I ain't gonna spit on nobody. I ain't stupid. That's assault. Do you want to hurt somebody? No. I want to get out of these damn cuffs and get put like in a cell or maybe like in some restraints like he is. Do you want to hurt yourself? Uh, no. I don't even know why I got put in this damn chair. He's not suicidal then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give you a chance. Okay, take the mask off and everything, Aaron. You gotta cooperate with us. Sir, I'm not gonna cause no problems. I'll give you one chance. Nope. If you act up again, I got another option. Put you right back in a chair. Understood? Right. Thank you. What's up, Bill? Hey, Sarge, that uh, 405 that came out of the chair. Yeah. He's punching the pillar. Getting real agitated. All right, we'll take care of him. Unfortunately, I got no room for him, so we're gonna have to leave him out here. You can't be punching that pillar. Hey, Paul, I'm supposed to let the bat. Before eight of these people, three of those girls and five of those guys left out of here, and you guys didn't let me go out at all. The reason being is you told somebody that you were suicidal. No, I was suicidal. If I wasn't suicidal, I'd be busting my head on the concrete right here, man. What are you punching the pillar for? Psych interviews you. Right now, they feel, they said you're suicidal. So, that's the reason you're staying out here. I don't have a room upstairs to put you in. Man, on me, man. Just chill. I don't play no games like that. I'm not playing no games with you either. Sergeant, Fuck, I, I didn't lie to me. And I just explained it to you. Why? I just explained it to you. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey. Sit down. Can we get the chair again? No. no. Strickle all you want. Have fun. But you're staying right there. And that's the bottom line. You want to make a big scene? Go ahead and make a big scene. Hey, we've had a really busy night so far. And, uh, the other code fight is in the side cell. We'll go ahead and talk to him right now. What brought you to Vegas? Uh, you know, my friend told me it was better here, you know, like if you can't get a hustle on here, then you ain't nothing. So you got picked up tonight on a warrant though, right? Yeah, but I just went to court yesterday on malicious destruction of private property under $200. I shouldn't be on warrant for it because I just went to court yesterday. Well, maybe, maybe it just wasn't put in the system, you know? That's why I was so mad when I came in. You know, when they threw a bee mask on me, and I understand completely because nobody wants to get spit on them. Right. And I'm not going to spit on anybody because I know the charge for that, so. All right, man. So you're going to chill out in there? Yeah, bro. Yeah, sleep it off, man. Okay. All right, man.
I gotta close this. You know, on nights like these, when we get aggressive and uh, angry people in here, it always presents a challenge to us. So uh, if people would just come in here when they get arrested and just basically take responsibility for their actions and act a little more mature, they would end up going into little side cells like this. I started off with the department as a civilian employee. I went through the academy, and I've been a commissioned officer ever since 2002, and I love it. It's a wonderful career. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's got a lid on it. I asked you if you had something sharp, and you lied to me. What do you call this? It's called a needle. Take it to a stripper out. You were going to. Hey, don't squeeze my hand like that, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Stop resisting. I apologize. I'm not digging it with the hypes on her. Stand up, man. Another one? You won't hold your hand still, so I'm not hoping still for you. Well, you've already kicked me once. We don't want to get kicked again, right? You know what? You want to. You want to just put her in the chair. We'll put her strip in the chair her afterward. afterward. She comes in, she's going through the pat down search. The officer joined her, asked her if she had anything sharp on her, on her person. She said no, and during the pat search, officer uh, joined her, felt something in her in her bra, and turned out it was two hypodermic needles. So you guys. you guys are really doing this over nothing? Three needles is nothing, and kicking an off. Do you realize you committed a felony? You were on my pinky, dude. Toe, my little toe, dude, it hurt. Was it kicking you to hurt you? I ain't from around, do this. I saw her kick you. I she just tried kick. to kick again. Okay. I did? Okay, but I saw her kick you. Okay. Go ahead and rebook her. All right. So, if Is she's in, so for whatever she's, she's in here for, she's in here for a felony now. How did you make contact with her? Uh, suspicious vehicle stop over on Fort Apache. She was hanging out with one of her friends, and uh, mm -hmm. he had some pills in the car. And then uh, she had a warrant. So we're taking her for a warrant. I told her, if you have anything else, let me, you know, let me know. And uh, she let me know. Got, got down here and you found them. Obviously, you found them in a bra, so. That's a place you would not have found Yeah, them. I wasn't gonna dig it in there. No. <laughs> She's gonna sit in the chair for a period of up to two hours. Hopefully, she'll calm down and we'll be able to complete our search. And hopefully, there's no more needles on her. Face that way. Anything sharp on you? I have a cell phone and an electric thing there. A an electric thing? A stun gun? Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. A stun gun yeah, right here. That's all. Okay. That's yeah. neat. Thanks for telling me. And they have her phone stuff where she probably got. Wow. Oh, yeah. Why do you carry a stun gun around? Is it a bad neighborhood? Or too bad blocks? neighborhood? Did you did you not give it to the when the officer They're asked you? I don't know if that's one we can um, we it keep it because that doesn't come apart. The battery yeah. doesn't dis. She has a she has a taser in her bra. It's a taser. <laughs> what what is in her bra? That? That's the second one we've seen today. Oh, it does work. Did he ask you if you had any weapons? No, he specifically didn't know I would hold them. He didn't ask you if you had any weapons on you? Nope, he was asking for drugs. He was asking if there's a hooker. Uh-huh. Oh, he asked for needles, too. But And so you answered no, because you didn't have needles. Yeah. But you didn't think to tell him about the taser? He was an ass. It's kind of a big thing. What was her original charge? Walking on a roadway. That's why she was stopped originally. That's why she was stopped originally. And then there was this this ID when you run it in DMV says that uh, it's not a valid form of identification for whatever reason. So because we couldn't identify her, we brought her down here to fingerprint her. Make sure she didn't have any warrants. Right, because yeah. you know people lie. Yes, they do. Sometimes, yes, not they all the do. time. Sometimes, at least once a night. And so we're going to be releasing her. Are you going to be giving her a citation for this charge? No, or? I'm just going to end up just driving her back. I think we've used up enough of her time. OK. Right? Right. Yeah. No warrants. Nothing. And Never been arrested before in her life. And this is her first time in no jail. one got tased. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next time, even if they don't ask you, and you have a weapon on you, it's a good idea to tell them. OK, it's, just, it's about safety. It's not about you I getting know, in trouble. It's I about know. safety so nobody gets hurt. You understand? Yeah, I understand, understand? perfectly.
We took care of it, and when you're going home. Okay, you're gonna go with him. Walk over there. Bye. He's a little upset with her because she didn't inform him. He's gonna give it back to her after he lets her out of the car. She's not gonna be holding it while she's in the no, car. No, that wouldn't even be a good idea. Yeah. I want to talk to you about this incident. I mean, you had two empty hypes that were in your bra that had blood in them. Yeah. So they, they were, were used. Yeah, they were. Both and then right. one that was loaded, ready to go. And it's been in there for a while. Yeah, yeah. I got it earlier today. I was asking you for safety purposes, I so know. that nobody got stuck. I started panicking like, with everybody in there. I did four years before already. Four years where? Prison? Uh -huh. How old are you now? 24. 24, and you've done four years in prison? What would, what would you serve time for? Uh, for possession. Possession of drugs? Okay. I wish you luck. I hope you can turn this around. Yeah, I, I don't know. She's already done four yeah, years in prison, I, and she's uh, as young as she is, and she has a nine-year-old daughter. She has a child that obviously somebody else is taking care of. Right. She has family, but chooses not to be with them. Mm -hmm. She chooses to come out here and hook up with perfect strangers right. and get involved in the drugs again after she did four years for drugs in prison. It's a shame. Very unfortunate She's because a there's a nine-year-old kid out there wanting his mom. Wanting his mom. You're right. come to night shift usually starts with a great workout at the gym. Boxing is one of my favorite sports. It relieves tension, stress. Uh, this job can be very stressful. People sometimes take it home. So I generally don't take my stressors home. I don't take this job home at all. I take it to the gym, let it all out, and start over again. This way. Look straight ahead. What'd you get arrested for? <laughs> Battery? I don't even uh -oh. know. I didn't even do it. You didn't do it? No. I'm Who not did even it? a mean person. I'm so nice. I'm, I'm as gay as they come. I'm so nice. I believe you. You've been nice to me. Yeah, I just want to go to my mama. Domestic violence? No, no. DUI. We're in the construction zone, we're in the ditch. Oh, OK. Sit up, Tony. You're going to get seen by the medical okay? EMT. I want you to come over here. You're gonna be all right. Come on. No, it's not all right. I'm in jail. Well, that's not it okay. Come on. So I am. Yeah, I want you to go all the way to the end so you can be seen by medical. Okay? Yes. All the way down. So you brought in Tawny. Yeah. I went to an accident. It was a single vehicle. Um, when I got there, it was she drove probably about a quarter mile through a construction site. Yeah. On a on a her tire was basically blown out and then just completely obliterated. Oh she kept going. We got her in custody. And so it was a DUI with accident yeah. with a single vehicle. She's involved. a complete mess. Yeah, yeah she is. I've and she's 20 or 21, so she's underage she's drinking yeah, as well? Yeah, she's underage drinking. You know, she said she had vodka. She doesn't even remember how much she had, but um, it's obviously way too much. Wow. Luckily, okay. she didn't hurt herself or anybody else. All right, thank you. No, 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 no. Tawny, what's the matter? I'm a little girl, and I do not belong here. I'm a well, little girl. I'm not little, I'm a little but I'm a girl. girl. You're a little girl? How old are you? <laughs> I just want to go home. Well, you're going to be fine. No more crying, OK? Yes, ma'am. I'll suck it up. I'm sorry. OK. Yeah, that's exactly what you should suck it up. You'll be all right. Yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm 22. I don't look like that. No, you look like you should be in juvie. I know. What did you get arrested for? DUI. D oh. Have you been arrested before for DUI? No. Never. Never. You know you get you know you get arrested and convicted three times. It's a felony. It's kind of early to already be a. It was open bar. Drinking and driving. All right. Let's go in here. Is he a blood draw? Oh, okay. You're not going to throw up, are you? If you I'm throw good, up. I'm not good needles. No, no. There's no throwing up. She's really good. I actually trust her. Why is it all men are afraid? 
I'm sorry. Look that way. Look that way. Breathe on me again. We're not allowed to be drunk at work, you know. I can get tattoos, but I can't do this. Yeah. Relax. Relax. You just had a whole bunch of drinks. You should be relaxed. It's hard. My dad died of overdose, so. So what does that have to do with me? Needles. Needles. Oh, he was, he shot up? Yes. Okay. Well. That's one thing for me to. Then you'll be glad that I'm good at this. Will you call me on second floor, please? Stay down here breathing. Lady, I'm trying to do anything right now. All right, you're going to be fine. Hey, Coke. That's it. Okay. Simple enough. There's no more poking. You need to relax your fist. Okay, you're all done. Don't do what you did anymore. Okay, stand up. I'm all done with you, so you can have a seat in the front row, okay? Pull your pants up, though. Hey, I actually lost weight. Thank you, though. All right, go on out. <laughs> There's an open seat in the first row. Have a seat in the first row. I think it's sinking in now. DUI is not a joke. Hope I don't see him here again. All right, Tawny, come on in. It's been about an hour and a half. Looks like the, the looks of where the alcohol's wearing off. So we'll get her booking photo taken. So Tawny, what happened last time you were in here? I got in, into a fight with my ex-girlfriend. She punched me in the head and she called the cops. I only known her for a month, I mean a week before I moved here. here. Look up here. Why'd you move in with her? <laughs> because Why? I thought that she, you know, had a nice ass, had a nice I thought I was in love with her. Sorry for oh. my language, but you know, young and stupid. I see. So I told her to go. And now? No more, uh... And now I'm just going to school. No more girls. No more dumb girls. The girls are trouble, huh? Girls are trouble. All right. Okay, go have a seat, Tony. We'll call you back in Over here there? in a little bit. No, back where you were. They'll call you back in in a few minutes, okay? She's only been in CCDC once. If she keeps it up this way, she'll end up with a long list of photos, just like the rest. All right, Tammy, I spoke with your mother. All the information checked out. We're going to go ahead and release you on your own recognizance. Get out without having to post any money. It's get out of jail free card. It's the easiest way to put it. Jail out of free, you mean you're going to pay later? No. No. Just show up to court, though. Yes, ma'am. If you don't show up to court, then they'll issue a warrant for your arrest, OK? All right, Tom. Good luck. Do I go back over there and sit down? Yeah, go right back to your seat, OK? She lucked out. She gets to go home soon and not have to put up any money. Some of the mistakes will stay with you. And DUI is one of them. been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about nine years now and been part of the Special Emergency Response Team, our CERT team here. Uh, we're in charge of taking care of disruptive inmates, cell extractions, riots, high-risk transports. The first time I came here, I saw these guys wearing these uniforms and I said, I want to be a part of that. And I tested for it, made it, and now I'm a team leader, so I love it. More, more, more. We just had a code called for an uh, officer emergency up in our disciplinary housing. So we're responding upstairs. Watch your step. Get out the door! Get a chair. Get out the door, gentlemen! Get out the door! Get some shackles. Get out the door, 2 1! Get out the doors! Stand them up, walk them out. Walk. Keep your head down and look up. Keep your head down and shut your mouth. Control. Just his nose a little bit. Check his knuckles real quick. 
Looks like they got into it, had a little bit of a fight, so we're going to take them to our isolation housing now. What was that about, man? Oh, I've been waiting to get that P throw work, and that's the only way I can do it. I ain't had a report since I've been here. I'm here for murder. Were you guys out here on free sticking? time together? Or? No, he was, I've been waiting for him to get medication the same time I'm out. Okay. Find this guy next door. Yeah. I'm like, it's a throw work. So they were, is there a medication pass? Yeah. So he's been throwing urine and all stuff, and he's next door to you, right? They, the, the cops even know about it. Um, he puts it out blatantly. They're going to patch it down real quick. So you're gonna go up and talk to the officers, see what happened? Cause... Yeah, for, before I do any of that, um, he's got a, a black mark on his right hand in the palm area. Might be lead or possibly ink from a pen. I'm not sure there was a weapon used in the attack, but that would be very good evidence. When we get out, you can do your clothes on it. So I think right. we should go back and search the area to see if we can find anything there's been a weapon. It was kind of fiddling around over here, and we were doing the med pass over there. And then he was kind of like just, and every now and then, next thing you know, it's like we're over here. Can't really see him because of the angle. And he was like, boop, came right around us, right into the room. And he was on free time, right? He was on free time, yes. Did he have a pen in his hand? No, I didn't see anything in his hand. I mean, he does have his pens and stuff. Is there any with the ends removed? No, not this one. Yeah. I just want to look around and just help him with a possible weapon. Was he hit in the body or just the face? Uh, I was asleep. Okay. Can you lift your shirt up for me? Ah, it hurts. Can you lift your shirt up, though? It hurts in my neck. Okay. <laughs> Can you stand up, please? Yeah. What's up with painkiller? Where did he turn around? Turn around. Can you see your face? Just got hit. Good. No, that's a cut. Yeah. No, so there's like right there. Yeah, a cut. Well, that would be from a finger now. Yeah. Well, All right, have a seat. So what happened? Oh, um, I was asleep. And the officers came to give you your medication, right? Yeah. Okay. And then as Officer Alessandrini said, there was a blur of blue as he came in the room and attacked you. Is that right? I was asleep. Okay. And then? Then I woke up. So that was it. You were just asleep. And all of a sudden, you were still asleep. No, I'm awake now. Right, but then? And now, since I'm awake, my neck and my back hurts. Okay. My neck, my back, and my arm hurts. Just now I'm awake, but before I was asleep. Oh, okay. Thank you. I thought that was a good Curious. possibility of a, you know, use of a weapon. Yeah. Which would add more severity to the charges. Yep. All right. He took an opportunity. He's here on some serious charges. Yeah. So he doesn't have anything He's to lose anyway. To lose. Yeah. Okay. So. Just an assault then, no deadly weapon involved. No. This guy was the primary attacker, so I need to ask him a few questions and I'll hopefully determine if we're gonna rebook him and we're gonna do the uh, in-house discipline on him. Perry, I'm Sergeant Walquist, how are you? Good. Uh, what happened in the fight today with, with the other guy? Oh, you mean I'm being charged for that? I, don't, I haven't decided yet. I don't know yet. But before I question that, you, I got to ask many, this. How many years would that be? It could be anywhere one to six years for battery well, by I'm prisoner. Top of a murder sentence. Yeah, well, yeah. I just want to know what happened. Why'd you fight with him? I didn't really consider it a fight. He wanted to throw pee, so he paid the price. Did he throw pee at you? Yeah. Okay. What, That's under the done. door? I've been waiting for my chance to get, get at the pee thrower. So you went in there, how many times you hit him? Um, only uh, twice, but I know that one time I did, because um, I felt it, this one went in his eye. Oh, okay. Um, use a weapon or anything? Uh, Pen, nothing like that? What was the ink spot on your left hand? Um, they, uh, well, you can give me some charges for that, too. I don't care. Um, they gave me a pen uh, this morning, and um, I want to see if it wrote. 
Oh, okay. So it was just a test to see if it wrote. All right. Anything else you need to tell me? No. Cool. All right. Thanks. He admitted that he fought with him. He said why he did it. So um, I'm pretty well convinced we'll go ahead and rebook now on top of the in-house discipline. And uh, carries one to six, so we'll see what happens. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't want to be.